Please give a warm welcome for Nick Paniotopoulos. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Everyone, let's give Sal a round of applause for correctly pronouncing Paniotopoulos. Good job, Sal. I didn't know you spoke Klingon. Klingon Greek, same thing. Actually, they're very similar languages. They both were, they're both inflected languages, and they both require you to spit at the person you're talking to. <laughs> Thanks to everybody in the front row for helping me demonstrate. You may not think this, but Paniotopolis, very difficult name to learn when you're growing up. I remember my mom made this laminated card. She would pin it to me every day before going to school. Had my full name, address, and suggested retail price. <laughs> When I had trouble going to sleep at night, rather than count sheep, I used to try to spell my entire name backwards, which is great, because that's exactly what the police make me do after they pull me over. <laughs> Didn't get any easier. When I was 17, I went to get my name tattooed on my back, but the tattoo parlor ran out of ink. Three letters from the end. Now I have Paniotopoo tattooed right above my ass. Luckily, I was born with a first name as well, which I share with half the Greek population, Nick. Can you imagine the ancient Greeks trying to create Western civilization and all the men are named Nick? It's impossible. That's why they invented the nickname. The problem with the nickname is it was based solely on observation. You there, baking that bread. We'll call you Nick the Baker. And you, fashioning that spear. We'll call you Nick the Blacksmith. And you, the half-naked cross-dresser. We'll call you Nick, pantyhose topless. <laughs> Crazy Greeks. It's not easy growing up in New Jersey as the only Greek kid whose parents don't own a diner. <laughs> but that's all right, Greek diners, whatever. They're only famous for two things, coffee and broken plates. Despite Greek diners, I'm a huge advocate of eating food. I love eating food and I don't know what I'd do without it. Probably die. But I'm into trying new things and new foods. I tried that new Domino's pasta bread bowl the other day, yeah. That's a disgusting invention. <laughs> pasta in a bread bowl? The only time you want to eat pasta in a bread bowl is when you're carbo-loading for a marathon shit session. <laughs> I don't know why they don't just call that thing the Domino's Pasta Toilet Bowl. <laughs> Try the new Domino's Pasta Toilet Bowl. Guaranteed delivery to your toilet within 30 minutes of ordering. <laughs> So Apple products are pretty cool. Awesome, so sleek and innovative. But what were they thinking when they named these things? iPod, iMac, iPhone. Either Apple puts all their creativity into design or they do a lot of brainstorming at the International House of Pancakes. <laughs> Seems like everyone has an iPhone. Everyone except me, of course. I've had the same phone since 2006, and it's awesome. It doesn't look like much, but the earpiece is broken and the frequency is a little off, so every time I talk to someone, they sound like Optimus Prime from the Transformers. <laughs> Hello? Uh-huh. It was my dad. He wants me to round up the Autobots and roll out. I know what you're thinking. If I brushed my hair and threw in a Snuggie, I'd look just like Professor Snape. <laughs> a half-naked, cross-dressing Professor Snape. I'm not actually a long hair kind of guy, but this has grown on me. It took about eight months. Nice. If you think it's bad, you should see what happens when I don't tweeze my unibrow. You know the unibrow? The hair that connects both my eyebrows to my ass? <laughs> I 
Actually, I'm kind of poor, so I started growing my hair out in order to save money, and it's really worked. I haven't bought my own drink in months. I just get guys with really bad eyesight to buy them for me. No, but having such long, beautiful hair, it's really more of a curse than a blessing. I, I appreciate women. I understand why it takes so long to get ready. Washing, it's one thing. But then you have to condition it, put the curlers in it. It takes like an hour for it to dry. It's no help, though. Hair still gets caught when I'm zipping up my pants. I suffer from mood swings. They're called caffeine and alcohol. But I guess that's why people like me. I'm either overwhelmingly interesting and agreeable, or overwhelmingly confrontational and possibly naked. <laughs> but then there's part of me that thinks, maybe it's not caffeine or alcohol. Maybe I'm just bipolar. But then there's another part that says, shut the hell up, Nick. <laughs> Confidence. Women love confidence. And confidence is short for ignoring women. There's something about ignoring women that instantly turns them into very desperate retail employees. I'm telling you, try it. Walk down Lincoln Road, ignore every woman you see. It's like walking into a store. Excuse me, see anything you like? Just browsing. Are you sure you don't want to try anything on? See if it fits? Take something in the back? No, uh, I have a pair at home that I like to play with. Well, uh, we're having a special today. Buy me and get my friend free. Yeah, I already get that on the internet. Besides, I'm more of a half-naked cross-dresser myself. <laughs> Thanks very much, everybody.